the head of NASA just said that the James Webb Space Telescope, which is our best tool for space stuff, has found something incredible. Get ready, because they're about to announce that they've found life on a planet called Proxima b. This could change everything we thought we knew. Let's check out what the Webb Telescope found and what it could mean for us in going into space. The James Webb Space Telescope is an amazing piece of science that could totally change how we see the universe. It's got top-notch tech and is in the perfect spot to see faraway stars, galaxies, and planets like never before. One of the coolest things about this telescope is its giant 6.5-meter mirror, which is way bigger than the one on the Hubble Space Telescope. It can catch even the faintest light from super far away, so we can see things we never could before. Before, scientists could only guess what was out there. Now, they can actually see it. Besides the big mirror, the Webb telescope also has instruments that can pick up all sorts of light. For example, there's the near-infrared camera, NIR cam, that takes pictures using infrared light. This is awesome because infrared light can go through dust clouds, so we can see deeper into space. With its detail, NIR cam lets us watch stars forming in galaxies. The goal is to check out the early universe, see how galaxies started and changed and find exoplanets that were too far away before. NIR cam and other tools on the web show us how galaxies are built and change over time, which helps us get how the universe works. Another important piece of the web telescope is the near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec. This tool breaks down light from space into different colors, wavelengths. By doing this, it tells us about the temperature, speed, and what things are made of out there. NIR spec really helps us dig into stars and galaxies because it uses the light they give off to find out what elements are there and how things interact. It also helps us study how stars and galaxies live and die. One of the main jobs of the Webb telescope is to study super far galaxies whose light has traveled for billions of years to get to us. By looking at this light, we can figure out how old they are, what they're made of, and other things about how they grew. The mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, is another tool that lets us study longer wavelengths of infrared light. This is useful for watching stars, planetary systems, and dusty areas where stars are being born. MIRI also lets us into the air around exoplanets, which tells us what they're made of, how hot they are, and if they could have life. The places where stars are born are really interesting. These thick clouds of dust and gas stop visible light, but infrared light can pass through. Thanks to MIRI, we can watch stars and planetary systems being made and study what's happening in these cosmic nurseries. MIRI is also key for finding exoplanets. It can pick up and check out the faint infrared light from their air, which tells us if there's water, carbon dioxide, or other stuff that could support life. When looking for life on exoplanets, the Webb telescope mainly uses two methods, spectroscopy and checking out the air. Even if a planet doesn't have plants or oxygen, those things aren't always needed to find life. Spectroscopy looks at how light is soaked up or given off by an object, and it's really important for checking out the air around exoplanets. When an exoplanet passes in front of its star, which is called a transit, the web can watch the light passing through the exoplanet's air. This light leaves behind tiny chemical signatures that tell us what molecules are in the air. The web uses MIRI for mid infrared and NIR spec for near infrared to do this. Together, these tools cover all the colors of light needed to fully check things out. During a transit, the light that goes through an exoplanet's air carries info about what the planet is made of. The web looks at these signals to figure out the air's makeup and find molecules that could mean there's life or that life could survive there. By finding these signatures, scientists can make models to better understand the planet's air and climate. One of the main goals is to look for biomarkers, which are things that are linked to life, like oxygen, methane, and water. But finding these things is just the start. We need more info to know if a planet is truly livable and if there are any signs of living stuff happening. Another good tool is comparative indicator spectroscopy, which the web uses to help find life. By comparing light data from different planets, researchers can get what the chance of life beyond Earth is. The James Webb Space Telescope can spot biomarkers in the air of exoplanets, which is a huge step in looking for life somewhere else. It's got the tech to watch faraway planets with detail we've never had before. 
As scientists keep checking out the data from these watches, they're finding new what the chance of life on other planets is. The Webb telescope can look super far into space, which lets us look back in time and see the early universe. By catching light from galaxies that started forming billions of years ago, the Webb gives us a chance to study how the universe has been changing. These watches give us big hints about how stars, planets, and galaxies formed, as well as how the universe has become what it is today. Besides looking for life, the James Webb Space Telescope is also helping us get space in general. It can take detailed pictures of far galaxies, stars, and other space stuff, which helps scientists figure out the story of the universe. With every new thing it finds, the telescope makes us wonder about the cosmos and what exploring space could mean. Looking ahead, the Webb Telescope will keep being a key tool for seeing the unknown. What it finds in the next years could be life-changing, not just for what we know about the universe, but also for going into space. As we go deeper into space and keep looking for life, the James Webb Space Telescope will surely be leading the way. Basically, the James Webb Space Telescope is the star of something big in space. It can watch distant galaxies, find exoplanets, and look for signs of life, which is a thing for us in trying to get the universe. With its powers, the Webb is ready to totally change how we study space and see the secrets of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope can check the air around exoplanets, which is one of its most things. It lets scientists look for tiny signs of life on faraway planets. The telescope's tools let us see planets and their air with detail, by finding key things that could mean life is there, like oxygen, methane, and water. These abilities are more than just watches. The Webb's tech helps us make big comparisons with Earth, letting researchers see how planets with similar things could have life. With detailed spectroscopy, the telescope can break down the light from far stars and planets, giving scientists a look at what these worlds are made of chemically. This is key for knowing if exoplanets could have places that could support life, and it starts new ways to researching where people could live in the universe. The web can also focus on infrared light, so it can see things we couldn't see before, like stars forming in dust clouds or planetary systems growing. These spots where stars and planets come from are often blocked from sight by telescopes that only use visible light. But the web's infrared powers let it see through this dust and show us what's happening. These watches help us deeper how celestial bodies are born and change, letting scientists know the important stuff that makes the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope can also watch in both near and mid-infrared, which means we can see how stars live and galaxies form. Its tools are made to check the light from far galaxies, stars, and space stuff, so researchers can know what they're made of, how old they are, and how they're built. This will let scientists better how galaxies grow, how stars are born and die, and how planetary systems happen. The James Webb Space Telescope can also show us the early universe. By studying light from the first galaxies after the Big Bang, scientists can find key into the very star of the cosmos. This is an important area of study because it shows how the universe has changed over billions of years and keeps changing today. The telescope can see further back in time than any tool before, catching light that started its billions of years ago. The data the James Webb Space Telescope gathers is going to have big and lasting on astrophysics and space. As researchers dig into the info from stars, galaxies, and exoplanets, they'll find new knowledge that makes us think about the cosmos in new ways. These revelations could change how we see our place in the universe, asking new questions and what human past Earth could do. The Webb Telescope is a huge in humanity's goal to see the universe and some of our basic questions. Whether it's finding new exoplanets, galaxies, or life out there, the James Webb Space Telescope is changing how we get space. As it keeps going, we can expect new things that will not only change what we know about the cosmos but also how we can tell we're in it. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope is starting a time of space. With its instruments and spot in space, it's one of the best tools ever made for seeing the universe. From finding life on other planets to how far galaxies are built, the web is set to see secrets that people haven't been able to see before. As we look ahead, what the James Webb Space Telescope shows us will for sure change how we see the cosmos and our own life in it. Another tool is the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIR-SPEC. 
It breaks down light into colors, which tells us about the temperature, speed, and what things are made of out there. It helps us study stars and galaxies up close. We can see what they're made of and how they change. It also helps us learn how they're born, how they grow, and how they die. The telescope also looks at galaxies that are super far away. By looking at the light from them, we can find out how old they are and what they're like. Then there's the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. It checks out longer wavelengths of infrared light. That helps it see planets in dusty spots where stars are born. MIRI can also look at the air around planets and see what's in it. That's important for finding life. Those spots where stars are born are really interesting. They're full of dust and gas, but MIRI can see through it. That means we can watch stars and planets being made. MIRI is also great at finding planets because it can see the faint heat they give off. Then we can see if they have water or other stuff that life needs. To find life on other planets, the telescope uses two main ways, checking out the light and looking at the air. It doesn't always need to see plants or oxygen because life can still exist without them. When a planet passes in front of its star, the telescope can see what the air around the planet is like. The light changes a bit as it goes through the air. By checking out those changes, we can see what's in the air. The telescope uses MIRI and NIR spec to do this. The telescope looks for things like oxygen, methane, and water vapor. These are signs of life. But just finding them isn't enough. We need to look closer to see if the planet could actually support life. The James Webb Space Telescope can also compare planets. By looking at different planets, we can see which ones might have life. This telescope is a huge step in finding life outside of Earth. It has the tech to see faraway planets better than ever before. As we study the stuff it finds, we're learning new things about life on other worlds. The telescope can also look back in time. It can see light from galaxies that formed a long, long time ago. This helps us learn how the universe changed over time. We can see how stars, planets, and galaxies were made. Besides looking for life, the James Webb Space Telescope is helping us learn more about space in general. It takes great pictures of galaxies, stars, and other stuff out there. This helps us learn the story of the universe. It keeps surprising us and making us think differently about what's possible. In the future, the telescope will keep helping us explore. What it finds could change how we see the universe and how we travel in space. As we go farther out and look for life, the James Webb Space Telescope will be a big help. Basically, the James Webb Space Telescope is a big deal for space trips. It can see faraway galaxies, find planets, and look for life. It's going to change how we study space. It's going to show us things we've never seen before. One of the most interesting things it does is check out the air around planets. This helps us find tiny signs of life on other worlds. It can see what's in the air, like oxygen, methane, and water. That helps us know if a planet could have life. It also helps us compare planets to Earth. That way, we can see if other planets could have life too. By checking out the light from stars and planets, we can see what they're made of. This is important for finding planets where life could exist. The telescope can also see things that were hidden before. It can see stars being born in dusty clouds. It can see planets being made. These areas are usually hidden, but the telescope can see through the dust. That helps us know how stars and planets are made. The James Webb Space Telescope can also see the early universe. It can see light from the first galaxies. That helps us learn how the universe started and how it has changed. It can see farther back in time than any other telescope. What the James Webb Space Telescope finds will change space stuff forever. As we learn more about stars, galaxies, and planets, we'll have to change how we think about the universe. It might even change how we see ourselves.